Okay, Graham Stubbers. I know, I'm on a roll. Fast one. Completely, it's just spiritual bandit here. Hmm, let's say, because it's uh, Easter Sunday tomorrow. So what are we celebrating? Feast of Ishtar. Eternal life. Where are these uh, bunny rabbits <laughs> and eggs come from? That's the abundance, right? Rabbits breed like crazy. Eggs uh, are the treasure of life, right? And the chickens, they also breed like crazy. Um, these are animals that, that absolutely uh, show abundance, but also show eternal life. It's just open, it's a non-stop cycle forever and ever. Okay, so perhaps you've heard of people who have had near-death experience or maybe just a blissful meditation experience where they seem to go to this place where there's all knowledge, everything. You know everything, but you can't bring it back. But you know everything when you're there. Um, maybe you know people have done trips with using drugs to get there. Uh, marijuana, acid, etc. seems to be uh, the drugs of ayahuasca, um, LSD, etc. mushrooms seems to be the uh, drug of choice to have this kind of experience where you know everything. You understand everything because you're always here. You've always been here. You're always going to be here. So sit back and meditate on that for just a second, would you? Um, you're, you, you've been here forever. That's not the first time you've been with that partner. <laughs> it's not your first time being a male. It's not your first time being a female. Um, you've lived over under every kind of government there possibly could be. You've had numerous kinds of bodies. Always been here, always going to be here. Think about that. Eternity. I'm not talking about billions of years. <laughs> I'm talking about foreverness. Forever. And you're always going to be here. They can't kill you. You can't be killed. The Christ told you. Life everlasting. Right? It's a, it's not a, it's not a one-time shot. It's a forever. And even if you go to heaven, think about that. You're going to be in heaven forever? Okay, let's say you believe that. You're only here once, and then you go to heaven, and then you're there forever. Or you're in hell forever, conversely, right? They tell the story. But, I mean, just think about forever more. Forever and ever. Think about how horrifying a prospect that is to know everything. To be, to be, I mean, really, think about it. To, uh, just sit back and relax, and that you can't die, and that you're here forever. You didn't have a concept of what forever it is, like 270 million years. That's nothing. That's just getting started. We're talking about billions. We're talking about trillions. We're talking about quadrillions <laughs> forever. Now, you've been here forever and ever and ever. Oh my God, are you bored yet? <laughs> so wouldn't it be fun to play a game, to play a simulation, where it feels like it's your first time? And you'll have lots of other people that are, that are in on the gag, and they'll, they'll tell you that it's your first time. So it feels like it's your first time. And then you can have this experience of waking up. Or you can be homeless, or you can have, you know, whatever experience you want. It's all good. You can be evil. You can be good. You can go run with Lucifer. You can run with the Jesus. You can uh, play with Buddha. You can, uh, whatever. Whatever your belief system is, whatever you want to do, um, you can be whatever it is. When you come here, though, think about it. Um, they give you a name, they give you a religion, <laughs> hopefully they give you some food and shelter, and uh, you get to play the game. It's uh, really that simple, my friends. Um, you're here forever and ever. You're always going to be here. You're never not going to be here. <laughs> um, you're that fish in the ocean asking whether there's an ocean. Um, because it's all one ocean when you get right down to it. But uh, the idea being that uh, you're always going to be here. Uh, you've always been here. This thing comes and goes. So uh, why not have a fun time while you're here? Or you can be depressed. Maybe that's a, you just haven't explored sadness. So uh, maybe you want to explore sadness in this lifetime and you just want to be a sad, useless husk. Um, 
that takes drugs and and uh, just really gets into being sad. Maybe you want to lose your mind and be crazy. Uh, maybe you want to be who, who knows the billions of options you have just on this planet alone. But it's sure much more fun if it feels like it's your first time and it's your only time. And man, doesn't everything seem important then? And it's exciting, or maybe it's boring. But you know, even boring is uh, better than <laughs> than the alternative. Um, which is knowing everything all the time about everything uh, because you become one with the all. Uh, because you're all that and that's all there is. <laughs> but anyway, point, uh, do you get my point? Uh, you're always going to be here. And uh, lately they've been gaming the system where they've uh, tried to make it so that you can't come back. You can't, uh, you can't get another body and uh, play here. Uh, but there's plenty of other places to play, I promise. But the idea is uh, here on this planet, in this dimension, in this now. Uh, oops, it's still now. Um, oh, it's, it's still now? Yep, it's still now. Um, but here in this... Uh... Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, never mind. Um... I thought Homer Simpson was making an appearance somehow. Anyway, but the idea being that um, you somehow have... Uh, it's a spoon. You somehow have um, managed to incarnate in that body, in that little meat suit right there. And uh, you feel like it's the first time and it's fun. You should be having fun. Um, d demons be damned. It's the, I mean, the idea is that you're here for the first time, uh, or it feels like that way. So play like it's that way. But once you wake up to the fact that it's not that way, you still got to play like it's that way. That's uh, directly out of Supreme Yoga and a couple other pieces of scripture. It's like uh, before enlightenment, what do you chop wood and carry water? And after enlightenment, you still chop wood and carry uh, water. But the idea being is that uh, you, you just come playfully because you realize that it, none of this means anything. It's just uh, experience uh, one time for, what, 72 years or 100 years or 120 years or whatever you manage to eke out of this one um, in the scale of billions of years. You're just playing a game. You're in a simulation. Uh, you agreed to everything that's going on. <laughs> and you agreed to it trillions of times a second. Um, but the idea is... Uh, you want to use your imagination and creativity and manifestation skills to have a fun time while you're here. Why Why you want to be sad? Why you want to be scared? Why you want to feed demons? Because right? you can absolutely just not feed the demons if you want to. Or you can feed them all you want. <laughs> Maybe that's part of your thing this time you decided that you're going to come here and just give them lucre all day long. Um, or maybe you be more joyous than that and uh, help your fellow man and uh, have a fun time while you're doing it. Or, or, or. Infinite possibilities. Every second. This is the fun thing about being here. Um, you can do what you want. Quite literally. Uh, and once you start realizing that you can do what you want, do what you want. Right? As long as you don't hurt other people. Uh, maybe what you want is to... Most people are good, though, so... Uh, what you want usually is to help other people, and uh, it's how simple. How simple is this thing? If you love uh, yourself, uh, you can love others. If you can forgive yourself, you can forgive others. So you better forgive yourself, and you better live yourself, love yourself. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time with others. And the only way to serve yourself is to serve others. Think about it. Right? You can grow your own food, but if you want to make money, you have to sell the food to somebody else. That's providing them a service. And they'll trade you something of value for uh, what you grow, whether it's uh, perceived value in a piece of paper, or I've traded math lessons for food, <laughs> boxes of food. Uh, I'm looking at one right now. Um, or, or, or you can uh, because you know if they can't uh, barter is good. Um, and at the same time, the most favored of the. Uh, believe it or not, commodities, is paper at the moment. Pieces of paper uh, have replaced gold and silver. And uh, pretty soon, people wake up to the fact that those pieces of paper are worthless 
and uh, we're going to have to change things up, aren't we? But at the moment, it, the system's working pretty well. Uh-oh. That, that doesn't happen. Anyway, the point being, uh, before I was so rudely interrupted by my sleep on uh, my computer going to sleep on me, I'm boring everybody to death, including my computer. Uh, <laughs> the idea being that um, you're here forever and ever. Uh, you're always going to be here. You're, you're never not going to be here. So why not play this game and have fun while you're playing it? You get a meat suit. It feels real, <laughs> right? Um, it's organic. Um, you can be part of all kinds of fun experiments um, and do all kinds of fun stuff here and uh, feel like it's your first time ever uh, on any planet ever and st instead of having the horrifying burden of knowing everything all the time. Um, Tesla was one who said that there is a place he figured out that you could go to where all this knowledge is. Um, also, that would make it that your higher self, quote unquote, is uh, playing you <laughs> here in this dimension, in this reality. Um, so, you know, whether you're homeless or a billionaire, it really makes no difference. It's the experience you're having here on the planet. Um, if you think it's about the money, you have uh, failed miserably. Um, but then again, that's part of the fun. If you think it's just about uh, getting pussy uh, or dick, um, well, that's fun too, but uh, you're kind of missing the point. Um, but see, it's fun to have flesh, right? It's fun to have skin and, and so on. So that's part of the fun funness of the game. Um, and, you know, all set, seven deadly sins, they're all there. Um, enjoying food uh, a little too much can be problematic. Uh, enjoying sex, enjoying money. Um, getting depressed and doing nothing. Or maybe you're not depressed, you just do nothing. Sloth, <laughs> right? Uh, you don't produce more than, than, uh, you take. You just, you're just a consumer. Um, maybe you're born into a wealthy family or something like that, and you just spend the wealth. You don't ever create or, or do much of anything. You just kind of sit around the house all day. Um, uh, some people collect stuff. Um, yeah, which is, anyway, I've seen the men that just, they've got so much money, they, there's nothing to do. Right? Um... They've, after a while, it's just, I think Seinfeld also said it, the boring monotony, right? The, hor <laughs> the horrifying monotony that it is to be human uh, once you, quote unquote, make it and you don't have to struggle anymore for rent or money. Um, careful what you ask for. Um, see, but some people who have a better personality and a better mental, uh, positive mental attitude, uh, they get lots of money and they go have fun because uh, having money is fun. You can do all kinds of fun stuff and set, travel and see all kinds of stuff. Um, you, right now, you can take some of that money and prepare for 2046. Um, or maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you want to spend it all now and, uh, you know, dole out your money in 27 parts and uh, party for uh, the next 27 years. Uh, enjoy the planet. Um, enjoy uh, your time here. Uh, and then your time will be done. Um, or maybe you want to be crazy and try and survive it, and uh, or 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 who knows? It's all good. It's all going to be fun. Um, but I'm telling you, uh, if you've always been here and you start to realize the horrifying monotony that it can be being a human, and that's just a couple of hundred years, or not even you know 120 years max, um, you'll be fortunate and few if you make it that far. But the idea that you can uh, do what you want while you're here for that amount of time <sighs> should be refreshing and should be fun. Um, but at the same time, if uh, you can get bored in that uh, short amount of time, think about hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of what we call years. Well, you have to understand in other dimensions, time doesn't work like this dimension does. Um, it's a very odd dimension we're in, as it turns out. Uh, but it's fun here. It's totally fun here. And you don't know any different, right? <laughs> or maybe you do if you'd meditate a little bit more um, or take some lucid dreaming to uh, to heart. And uh, yeah, because you can be in this other state. Uh, where is that state? Uh, the guys in your dreams have dreams. But you can get into this other state we call dreaming, become aware that you're dreaming, and oh, that can be all kinds of fun. Um, 
And some people just go to sleep and they have no memory whatsoever. And other people, they, they have this whole other life for a few hours a night. Um, I mean, I've heard people that, you know, they pick up where they left off in their dreams, basically, almost. Um, but it's, it's very strange if you talk to people that, uh, that study dreams and do lucid dreaming and so forth. It's a very odd thing. But anyway, the point being is that while you're here, have a fun time. Uh, you can explore these dimensions. You can pretend it's your first time. Um, you can take a break from eternity. All right, 100 Monkey here. Something to consider, a philosophy to take a look at. Um, I'll talk to you later, Crime Stoppers.